In this tutorial, I will show you how to automatically fix subtitles. Let's assume we have a script and we want to spot the subtitles using the spacebar in the preview mode and then fix them automatically. If you're not sure how to do this, please refer to the introductory Easy Titles tutorial. You'll also see that some of my subtitles are raised, that is, they have an empty line at the bottom. I did that on purpose to show you how to fix this quickly. So let me now do a draft version of spotting. I'll play the film and I will insert the in and out times of subtitles by holding and releasing the space bar. Hey, Snow. I, I know that you and I got off in the wrong paw and I, I, I just wanted to see if we could start off fresh. You know, clean slate. What do you say? Want to be friends? Um... Okay then. <laughs> He's playing with my head. He's trying to suck me out. Sick little rodent. Hey, Snow, let me in. I'm starving. What's in the dish today? Oh, food no. food food Monty food the food mouth. Food. If he sees Stuart, it'll, it'll be all over the neighborhood. Oh, let me in. So now we have our draft and we need to fix our subtitles. Thanks to the Easy Titles function called Fix, we can do it automatically. When you open the Fix Subtitles window by either clicking this icon here are going to fix subtitles you will see there are a number of options and things you can fix we're going to apply the fixing to all our subtitles but you can easily just make a selection by marking your subtitles or using those from a log list you can even set a different preset to do this right here in the fix options we tick what we want the program to fix for us automatically so I'm going to have Easy Titles fix any subtitles that are below reading speed. I set in the settings uh, as uh, I believe 15 characters per second. I also want my consecutive subtitles to be chained. So I tick the fix intervals box. This means that if I have two subtitles following one another, I want the interval between them to be set to two frames. I want to apply this rule to any consecutive subtitles which have a gap less than 15 frames. You can of course set different values yourself here depending on the requirements of your client. I also want the program to fix the subtitles which are shorter than minimum duration, uh, which I set as 20 frames here, and to snap the subtitles to short changes using my threshold of uh, 10 frames. That means that if a subtitle is 10 frames away from a shot change or less, its in or out queue will be snapped to the shot change automatically. Finally, I'm asking Easy Titles to fix raised subtitles and to delete empty rows and extra spaces. When I click OK, the program displays a message showing me what changes have been done to my subtitles. So I have five raised subtitles fixed and eight subtitles queues adjusted. It also shows me any unresolved matters, warnings. So I've got three subtitles that are not at minimum interval from previews and three subtitles outside reading speed limits. And uh, the program sent all of these to the log list so I can have a look at them quickly. Now we can see the results here. My subtitles are chained now with the minimum gap of two frames that I set at the beginning. And they're also snapped to short changes. They are ready for some final touches and voila, we're done.